Okay, so this is the, uh, I think, the fifth video in the Linear Equations series. And with this particular video, we're going to look at fractions on both sides of the equation and we're going to look at bracketed terms as well. So this is round about a grade B uh, GCSE question and it's going to be presented to you something like this. So x over 3 minus 5 equals uh, 3x minus 2. Okay, so the rules of algebra still remain the same. Whatever I do to the right-hand side of the equation, I have to do to the left-hand side of the equation. And also, I've got to make sure that the equation balances around the equal sign. So it is always really good practice with these sorts of equations to make sure that you work down the paper and you keep the equal sign in the middle of the page. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the brackets on this side. It won't change the balance of the equation, it just means that I can uh, manipulate the x and the minus 6 that I'm going to have. So on this side I'm going to write out the same part, which is x over 3 minus 5. And on this side I'm going to uh, multiply the first term and the second term by 3. So 3 times x is 3x, and on this, time, so this side I have 3, or positive 3, times minus 2, which is minus 6. Okay, so I'm in a position now where I have x over 3 minus 5 and 3x minus 6 on this side. So what I want to do now is I want to take that minus 5 and put it this side of the equation. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to add 5 to both sides. Okay, so x over 3 minus 5 plus 5. Minus 5 plus 5 is, is 0, so it's going to leave me with x over 3. And on this side, I've got 3x, which remains the same, and I've got minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1. So I now have an equation which is still exactly the same, it's just balanced, um, and I've got rid of some of the, I've got rid of the brackets, and I've got rid of the uh, division sign, I will get rid of the division sign in a minute. Okay, so over here, I'm going to get rid of this division by multiplying by 3, because x over 3, if I multiply by 3, it's just going to give me a value of 1x. So if I multiply this side by 3, I have to multiply that side by 3. So I multiply this side by 3, I get x on its own. And on this side, I, can, I need to probably write it as 3 times 3x minus 1, because it'll help you to remember that you're multiplying 3 to the whole of this term, not just to the 3x at the beginning. It's the whole term. So, I'm now going to remove yet more brackets. So, if I multiply the first term and the second term, first term will be 9x, still x this side, 9x, and on this side I've got 3 times minus 1, which is minus 3. Okay, it's looking a little bit easier now. I appreciate it's taken a little bit of time to work through those. So if you want to stop the video at any time, then hopefully it'll give you the ability to look at what I've done and work out as we go through the video. Okay, so on this side, I've got um, minus 3 and 9x and x. Well, there's a couple of things I could do, but generally speaking, I want to make sure that I end up with the numbers on one side and the x's on the other. So what I'm going to do is I think um, I'm going to take 9x from this side. Now if I take 9x from this side I end up with minus 3. Don't generally like dealing with negative numbers but I think on this one I'm going to have to. So if I take 9x from that side I have to take 9x from this side. So let's see how that works for us. So I've got minus 9x and minus 9x. So on this side, I'm going to be left with minus 3, because 9x minus 9x is, is 0. And on this side, I'm going to be left with x 
minus 9x is minus 8x. All right. Well, that's not too bad, actually, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So I'm actually going to end up with a positive number. So on this side, I'm going to divide by minus 8. So on this side, I'm divided by minus 8. On this side, I'm going to divide by minus 8. So minus 8x divided by minus, a, uh, minus 8 is x on its own. And on this side, minus 3 divided by minus 8, a minus number divided by a minus number is a positive number. So minus 3 divided by minus 8 is 3 eighths. OK. Now the question has been given to you as a fraction question, so you can answer it as a fraction question. If you wanted to convert that to a decimal, that's perfectly fine. I think it's 0 0.375, so you can convert that to a decimal if you wanted to. And then feed it back into this and prove that both sides balance when the value of x equals three eighths. Uh, I hope that's okay for you um, and if you have a look at some of the other videos that'll tell you a little bit more about balancing and algebraic equations. Um, and if you want to have a look at the website it's uh, matterapp.co.uk or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and that will keep you informed as and when I post new videos.